hi guys welcome back to my channel what is up you guys how is everybody doing today i'm just gonna go ahead and say it but do y'all see how good this lighting looks normally i film my videos early in the morning with the natural like daylight peeking in i have my ring light on i have my vanity light on but i I was so tired y'all and I didn't film this morning like I wanted to and it is 5 46 at night right now well it's not really night I mean or is it night and I was just like okay I took a nap I'm rejuvenated I'm going to film tonight but what am I gonna do about lighting then I forgot that my mother who has a wonderful party business Check out KMJ Creative Creations, Party Rentals, and Supplies. Uh, if you are in New Orleans and you need spacewalks, concession machines, linen, uh, backdrops, balloon arches, literally anything that you need for your party, she has you covered, so definitely look her up. But I forgot that we have these softbox lights, and look at the light that I have. I'm just so excited and happy because it looks so good, and I think I need to buy some for myself for times like this when I want to film at night, you know? Enough rambling. I'm really, really excited about today's video because I'm going to be testing out some new primers from Milani, you guys. I have all five of the new primers that just came out from Milani. Maybe a month or a couple months ago, Trend Mood posted a post about these primers being available at HEB. If you're not familiar with HEB, it's basically state of Texas's Walmart. I used to live in Texas and we used to go to HEB. It's a grocery store and really, we didn't really go to Walmart. Like, Walmart, who is she? You know, but this was only there and I was looking everywhere for it and I couldn't find it. And then I have this thing where every night at 12 a.m. I go on Alta's page and I look at the new arrivals. And these were on there. This was this year, 2021. So I'm really excited to dig into this. Since it is so late, I'm not going to be able to do a complete wear test on these primers. But if you want to see my first impressions on these and everything like that, I am going to try them all out and help you figure out which ones you want to potentially pick up and which is right for you, then definitely keep on watching. Y'all, before we get started, I need to put something on my lips. This is the Morphe 2 Lippy Lullaby Lip Mask. I have been obsessed with this. It smells so good and it is thick, okay? This is new. This just came out not too long ago and I have really been enjoying this. But let's dive into these primers. I'm gonna give you guys pricings, everything like that, what they're supposed to do, what the claims are on these primers and all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and start off with this one. This is the SPF 30 primer. So basically the claims of this is it has a lightweight lotion texture, a natural finish, and it is enhanced with vitamin E and glycerin. It is supposed to smooth skin and it's for all skin tones and it extends makeup wear. Now, I didn't realize this until after I bought this that I actually already have this one and this is the original packaging of it right here. This is the same primer and it says it on here, it just says new look. There's nothing different about it, just the packaging and you still get one fluid ounce of product in each of these. I've tried this one before and I already know how this feels and everything like that. If you're the kind of person that loves having SPF in your makeup, this is the primer for you. It does feel like a lotion. As far as the wear of my makeup, I honestly haven't used it enough to tell you guys how it wears with makeup, but the fact that it has SPF in it is a bonus. So if you want to pair this primer with another primer that you love, I think this SPF BF primer would be a great companion to any other primers that you have in your collection. And it doesn't have a smell. It doesn't smell like sunscreen or anything like that. In case you were wondering, I forgot to tell you guys, this SPF primer retails for $12.99. Okay, so moving on to the No Pore Zone Mattifying Primer. This retails for $10.99 and it has lily and bamboo extract in here. This is said to blur imperfections it's for all skin tones and extends makeup wear. It is a lightweight, silky texture with a matte finish. It's an ultra pore minimizing 
blurring and oil controlling primer this sounds like it's right up my alley I've never tried this primer before but this is not new just in case you guys were wondering it's just in the new packaging like the SPF BF one I'm excited to try this I think this might be one that I go in with today I'm just gonna put this primer in areas where I get most oily Ooh. oh okay so this is one of those primers that literally feels like blurring I love those kind of primers it kind of feels just like the benefit pore professional primer which is really nice you guys know I love dupes and I love cheap affordable primers I like this a lot this definitely does feel like my favorite primer this feels like my favorite high-end primer the pore professional primer and it feels very soft and blurring all right, so the next primer we're going to talk about is the Skin Quench Hydrating Primer. This has hyaluronic acid and coconut water in here. And this one retails for $10.99. This is a hydrating and blurring primer. It blurs imperfections. It's for all skin tones. It has a creamy lotion texture and a natural finish. If you have drier skin, I feel like this is a primer for you, though it says it is for all skin types. Okay. So first impressions, this primer feels just like the SPF BFF primer. I'm not really feeling any like cooling or anything like that. It does feel like it will hydrate, but it feels the exact same as the SPF primer. So let's go ahead and talk about the Chill Out Soothing Face Primer. I'm really excited about this primer. This one retails for $10.99. This is the one I was definitely most excited for. It is a weightless cooling gel texture with a satin matte finish. So excited. I'm really excited for this primer. So I'm actually going to put some of this on. It doesn't have a smell. None of these primers have smell to them. So I'm just going to put this primer everywhere. I did not put the primer on. <gasps> Ooh, this feels so soft and cooling. It does leave a cooling feel to my face. Oh, I low-key kind of wish it, these primers had some type of smell, at least this one. I feel like I kind of wish it had like a minty kind of smell to it, but it doesn't. But it feels really good on the skin. My skin feels cooling and really soft it does have like that kind of blurring effect to it it's not a lotiony primer i don't know if you could see this it's kind of hard to see which is a good thing because it's literally like blurring on my hand this is a really nice primer this is a primer that i will continue to test out and play with the last primer we have also new just like the chill out primer this is an illuminating primer with vitamin c and pro vitamin b5 okay so when it comes to illuminating primers i like to use them in areas i would typically highlight of course milani's primers are a little bit expensive side for drugstore but they're not really expensive drugstore primers like i will pay ten dollars for a drugstore primer as opposed to a thirty dollar primer i'm gonna take a little bit of this on the back of my hand oh no it doesn't smell like oranges which i really was hoping that it smelled like oranges but it doesn't so i'm just gonna take a little bit of this right here it does have a little bit of an orange tint to it i can definitely see some shimmer in this primer so I'm just going to take this primer in areas that I would typically highlight. And I'm going to put some here. So yeah, this is not a primer I would put everywhere, but just in the spots where I want a little bit more of a luminous kind of look. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, and then we're going to come back for my final thoughts on these primers. Alright, so I just finished my base makeup, and honestly, you guys, I really do like those primers. I use liquid highlighters. I like to use them under my makeup, and I just felt like the illuminating primer that I tried took the place of putting on liquid highlighter under my makeup. I didn't need to do that, which is really nice. It looked really gorgeous under the foundation. I actually really like this one. This one is one of my favorites that I tried today. And then the other primer that I really liked was the Chill Out Soothing Primer. I've, I really like this one. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention that the Chill Out Primer is silicone free. I'm not sure if the other ones have silicone in them. 
uh, it doesn't state that they're silicone. I really liked these three primers. If you're trying to figure out which one to get, honestly, it really depends on your preference and what you like. So if you like a primer that has SPF in it, this is your best friend right here. This is a great primer to use with other primers, like I mentioned earlier in the video. If you have drier skin and you need a more hydrating primer, definitely check out the Skin Quench primer. One thing that I love about all these primers is that it claims that it's for all skin types, which is really nice. So anyone could use any of these primers, but it really does depend on your preference. I really liked the three that I tried. Um, normally with primers, I can tell right away if I don't like them, but I really do like these and I will continue to use these primers. And I will also continue to use this one. Um, like I said, I did try this, but I didn't really use it enough to know if I like it, but I will use these. And for $10, I personally think that that's such a great price for a primer. Rather than spending $30 plus or $20 plus on a primer, I would just check out one of these from Milani because these primers cover literally every skin primer concern that you could possibly have. They're really affordable. You can get them at Ulta, use a coupon to get money off of your purchase. So check out one of these primers. I think you're bound to find one that you really like and thoroughly enjoy. My primer collection is made up of a ton of drugstore primers because drugstore primers are really great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Primer reviews are a little bit harder, especially if you don't do a wear test, but I will continue to use these primers and update you guys. But I just want to share with you guys my first impressions and give you some information on these primers and to let you know that if you were one of those people like me that saw this and got excited about it and couldn't find it anywhere, it is available now at Ulta's website. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end this video right here. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.